Hey, what's up guys, boys and girls, fellow collectors from all around the world. Ivan Seb, the French collector, is back for yet another video, guys. A long overdue video, actually, because this is one of the oldest pieces in my collection. I've had this thing for something like 14, 15 years now. Davy Jones' chest from Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest which is a second movie which came out I believe in 2005, 2006, something like that. And a few years ago actually I made a review of something else but a few people saw this in the background and they were like oh my god make a video, make a video. Never made the damn video but today is the day and there's a reason why actually which I'll tell you in a minute. Here if you want to read everything that's written on the back of the box I'll just let you pause the video. So here is this thing of beauty, but before we get into the subject, I want to thank everyone who left a comment on my previous video, the Jurassic Park Diorama, and I also want to apologize to some guys who also left a comment or subscribed. I always reply, but there seems to be a glitch on my YouTube, I don't know, because I, for some comments I do get an email notification and as soon as I check the comment section to reply, boom, it's gone. So I'm not ignoring anybody, I'm sorry. But by all means keep liking, subscribing and it's always a pleasure and an honor to meet new movie fans and collectors. So you just saw this nice little plaque and a certificate of authenticity which is a really nice addition to this piece. It was made by Master Replicas which is a company that no longer exists and it's a real shame because they really made amazing and very unique collectibles. They're mainly known for their Star Wars line, their Millennium Falcon, I've seen it for real, it's absolutely amazing and it's huge. Uh, I personally owned all their lightsabers in the past. They also made tons of Disney stuff like Cinderella's shoe which is made out of real glass, life-size Pinocchio and an item which I'm still on the hunt for, the Rocketeer helmet. From their Pirates of the Caribbean line I also own Jack Sparrow's gun, compass and sword but I'll keep these uh, for a different video. Let's focus on this now. As you can see it does not contain a heart. Some people suggested I put a fake heart in there with some fake blood. That would have been a bit weird. Instead I left all these pieces of jewelry in there which were all made by master replicas as well. But they were all sold separately as was the key. Obviously if you didn't buy the key you could still open the chest. So here's the complete collection. We got Tia Dalmas and Hector Barbosa's necklaces. Elizabeth Swan's medallion uh, and every ring worn by Jack Sparrow as well as the string of beads hanging from his bandana. They all look very screen accurate, they, they look amazing on display but they're maybe not the best quality if you wanted to um, wear them obviously. So most of the chest is made of resin except the handles on both sides which are metal and obviously the hinges it's, it's not very heavy but yeah I gotta say I was still quite surprised by its weight the first time I picked it up um, I thought it'd be lighter but, but yeah this chest is absolutely gorgeous I mean look at this it's definitely an eye catcher in the collection um, it's always been one of the first things people noticed when they walked into my man cave actually even people who hadn't seen the movie and didn't know what this thing was, every time they were like, oh my god, what is this? It's so cool. It's so nicely sculpted and painted. It's so screen accurate. There are so many details. This rusty effect, all the uh, octopus tentacles, and especially the heart-shaped lock, which is actually a crab, but it still looks like a heart. It's beautiful. And finally I kept the best for the end. Here's the reason why I decided to make this video now. This is the Davy Jones life-size bust made by 
French artist Jean-Philippe Rochet. It's an extremely rare piece, only a very few were made and my friend and fellow collector Alex Hunter um, had been hunting for this piece for years and he finally managed to get one. So when he, he told me, I thought, damn, it would be criminal to not reunite these two pieces. You know, they have to be on display together. So I took my chest and drove to his place to make this video. Um, Alex already had a replica of the key. I could be wrong, I'm not sure it's a master replica's key though. I'm, I'm not sure, it doesn't matter. It looks really nice hanging from his tentacle. Let me tell you guys, I've never felt so struck in front of a piece. This thing is so lifelike, I mean it's eerie. The eyes are glass eyes. It feels like he's looking right through your soul. The bus is made of silicone and the paint is exceptional. And it's 200% handmade so no two pieces are alike. The clear coating is so cool, it looks like he just came right out of the sea. The hat is removable and yeah, it, is, it feels a bit cheap and flimsy but obviously it's not meant to be taken off and worn or played with. But on display it's crazy good with all the details, all these little barnacles and whatnot. I'm not sure but I believe these shells down there on the stand are real ones. It's just jaw dropping. Anyway, it's time to wrap this up. Um, I don't have that much footage of it, but if you want to see better details, I will upload a few pics of it as well as another video with the pirate theme, since I can't do it here due to copyright reasons. Uh, it'll all be on my Instagram, same name, Evom Seb. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, much love. Stay tuned and like always, the French Collector will return. Peace guys, bye bye.